y'all welcome to my channel plant-based storm i'm stormy and today i'm gonna do a recipe and this is one that y'all voted on i had a poll up asking if you wanted to see freezer breakfast or firecracker tacos and they were pretty much neck and neck the whole time so i've decided to make two videos and this video is going to be the firecracker tacos they're gonna be super delicious and they are not hard to make at all so let's go ahead and get this cook it. So the first thing was dicing up some tofu that I had pressed previously. I got all of the water out into about one inch cubes and you can definitely use your favorite plant-based protein. Black beans would be a great uh, addition in this instead of the tofu if you don't want to use tofu. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch on here just to help them crisp up a little bit and you can do this in the air fryer or a frying pan. I'm going to do a frying pan. I'm actually just going to put in a tiny tiny amount of oil and then I'm going to wipe it all over with a um, paper towel just to like really spread it thin and even and this is just to get it a nice crisp but you do not have to use the oil all like I said you can put it in a air fryer or you can put it straight in the frying pan if you have a really good nonstick. I just really wanted this to be nice and brown and crisp up and it's hardly using any oil at all so the decision is yours um, I try to you know strive for healthy and not do uh, perfection so this works for me Next, I have a boiled medium potato, just one potato. I'm going to put this in a bowl, and let me tell you, I mashed this up in the bowl thinking I was going to save myself some time, but I ended up putting it into the blender, so just go ahead and start out with this in the blender. Add in a little bit of mustard to taste and a squeeze of a uh, half of a lemon, and this kind of mimics a... Um, mayo because it's going to make it creamy without all of the added fat and of course it keeps it plant-based um, so I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm adding in some of this uh, chili sauce this is by ginger people and I'll add a link in the description box below it is absolutely delicious and it is fat free and so yummy and it's pretty clean ingredients so if you want to check that out I'll put that in the description box below it absolutely makes this sauce so um, just add this to taste and then like I said I would have originally put this in the blender uh, lesson learned I'm not going to try to mix it up it was a little bit too grainy with me just trying to mash it up in the bowl so into the blender it goes So after these have cooked uh, about 10 or 15 minutes on one side on a medium heat, you can see how they're getting that nice, beautiful, golden, crispy color. And it's so good whenever they are cooked like this. They're crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. And then the blender has stopped mixing. And look at this delicious, creamy, fat-free sauce. And I'm putting in a little bit of sriracha. Going to mix it up. You can leave that in or put in as much as you want for as spicy or as mild as you like it. And it is so, so delicious, so easy. And then the next thing I'm going to do just to make it a little creamier, and this is totally optional, is add in a splash of almond milk and mix it in just to give it that extra touch of creaminess. Look at that. So, so good. Just top it with the tofu and some purple and green cabbage. And then I'll add a little bit of fresh cilantro and drizzle the sauce and sriracha on top and it's ready to go. So really that's all there is to it. It's super simple. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm -mm -mm. It's absolutely delicious. It's a little bit... The tofu is crunchy on the outside and nice and soft on the inside. And there is a little bit of crunch from the cabbage. The cilantro gives it a great burst of fresh flavor. And the sauce is super delicious, sweet and tangy. And then the little bit of heat, it just really all comes together. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because it really helps for other people to find this content. I hope you give this a try. It is super fabulous and something that is completely different than what we've been having lately. Thanks so much for watching.